Hi Gemini, this is your check-in reading. Before we get started, please do make sure you've checked your March reading, it's very much significant. The weekly astrology, which doesn't necessarily mean it's from Monday to Sunday, um, I go about the energy, so if there isn't very much, anything very significant, then I would I extend it or I do it to cover, like now it's currently 7th of March until the 15th of March. And I do also cover a couple of dates after that and often you'll find I end up loading the new astrology before the other one ends anyway. Well check that out because there's air sign elemental readings and there's also air sign check-in readings every now and then and your own sign readings as well. Um, if you liked, resonated with this reading once it's done and we get through, do like, subscribe, let me know how it resonated. It, I would appreciate it as um, it gives a little bit of thanks back to the energy I put into the readings. Obviously at the moment with the channel being small I don't get anything back. Um, and I'm doing this out of time in between client readings, energy healing sessions and other services I do, which you can check on the community page on my website and in the description box below. So having said that, should we get back into your reading or start your reading? Two of Pentacles, what are you juggling? Nine of Cups, Two of Swords. Why am I seeing that you're not recognizing yourself for your total value and worth? Um, I feel that you are in a bit of, yeah, you're not seeing yourself for the person you are, you know, you, the amazing person you are. And um, you're trying to camouflage at this time um, and maybe trying not to get caught up in something you've recently got caught up in. As I got that, I got five swords. Um, you can protect your energy two fives five of swords five of wands so you protect your energy and yourself at all costs okay that's really coming through for you and um the death card something is coming to an end or come to an end and i feel this is telling me that you need to focus on you a little bit but also the worry the anguish the arguments is coming to an end and the change is needed let's pull more clarification on the death card there's been some form of disappointment for you eight of wands this could be around work the moon something you're not seeing clearly and the the queen of pentacles definitely something around work creativity um where you know you need to put an end to it or you have done to move that change change that direction you've been putting in the hard work and there is some form of recognition there and you're not seeing clearly the outcome is actually going to be the Queen of Pentacles, which is your ultimate recognition of your own self-worth as well as the abundance coming in as a recognition for you. So I feel there's a big need for you to not, Page of Cups is coming in, not worry. There's a big message here. Um, there's no need to worry. This is the confirmation that you don't need to worry or stress if you have been. And whatever's been weighing you down recently, it's going to be lifted soon. And I can understand if you've got mental anguish because you're not able to see that. You know, sometimes we can't see that. There's still an element of you recognizing your self worth. I think some of you have recognized your self-worth and realized why you cannot continue to accept this. The King of Cups. I feel that some of you also want to reignite something with someone. Um, 
reignite a passion with someone or yourself and yourself is needed um this is someone who's also possibly caused you some form of disappointment this is the recognition that you are looking or the spark back if this is yourself I'd say find the root cause, Look. find the root cause that put out the flame in the first place. Why did you lose your confidence with these five cards, uh, five of wands and five of swords, the death card, the two of swords, the eight of cups? Why have you lost your confidence? You know where I said some of you did have it, look. And some of you have lost it a little bit reflecting back to see why and what caused it with this moon card is going to be important and it's going to bring that clarity as well uh king of pentacles i think you've got there's definitely something about love as well as a career for some of you and it could be a mix for some of you um but reflecting is also going to get you not only stable emotionally but stable physically and feeling stable not worried not stressed not out of balance not in fear um digging deep is highlighted it's not highlighted in the tarot but i feel that that's what's needed a strength card is needed um but i think you need to also do some um i'm pulling cards and i've not asked for any attention hang on a sec i'm just channeling and waffling <laughs> what i'm getting um so go rate you know what you radiate externally is based off what's going on internally so if you need to dig deep it's about you and someone else i'm wanting i feel spirit is wanting to ask you um through my guidance ask yourself what is the spark between you or with, between the two of you that's gone is your unhappiness with yourself right now that's being projected on the connection is it what's happening not only your unhappiness or lack of confidence within yourself it could be that you've got other stuff going on maybe at work um that's causing a projection in the relationship or in a relationship or a partnership um and i think that's significant you've got the four of wands here which tells me you have stability union and either if you sort out this relationship for those of you that it's 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 a good relationship but you've had like these dynamic this dynamic at work which has caused a lot of stress for you once you have that introspection and you speak and both of you come together it will solidify again there's a change occurring and whether this is to do with yourself your confidence and strength and solidity and stability within yourself is coming in um, i want you to look out for 11 11 on the clock you could be feeling quite frustrated at this moment in time um with you know what's going on and then what's going on for some of you in your love life some of you if you feel that um there's no movement in your love life there is going to be movement and you're going to find yourself um over committing to someone who could be avoiding commitment with you or avoiding making a choice that could be some that could be someone's message there that i've got um and if you need to then you need to separate There's a lot of Geminis that I'm speaking to and there's multiple things happening here because one thing in our life can be projected in another but there's also some people that is going to relate to their love, some people it's going to be work. Um, Some of you, if you feel you have a very strong connection with the person you're with, then it's just not working out. 
maybe it is time to call it quits if you're feeling that it's not working out um but some of you you need to you need to see what the root cause of the problem is because it might actually lead it into a different direction so you need to see is it to do with yourself is it to do with external stuff if you're single then you're moving out and you need to let not worry okay there's also recognition coming in this is either from a partner where you know you're going to go into resolving stuff or you're going to walk away and then it's going to open a door for you in terms of your recognition and blessings um i want to pull one more card and actually from here so there is recognition around your career coming in or a new career a job promotion definitely look community there's going to be a change where you are recognized at work or you're recognized by your tribe you know this could also mean the love that's coming in for you people that are more aligned with you that are not going to cause this kind of anguish that's been coming through um i want to pull your spirit animal but i also want to give you an affirmation gemini and that's I am worthy of everything I desire. I am worthy of everything I desire. Oh, I've not had this one before. Wow. It's actually a card. In this deck, there's, I think there's a couple that are not animals, even though it's a spirit animal deck. And this is, look at it it's, it's nature and it says personal choice close your eyes what animal do you imagine how beautiful you'll have to let me know in the comments what animal comes to you what strengths are they known for what wisdom do they share embrace these qualities so this is asking you to go within and i think when you do also is going to help you eliminate i think the message with this is also to have some time to meditate and breathe, but personal choice, that's your empowerment card as well. Spirit is empowering you here because you, you can do this and you're worthy of everything you desire. This jumped out. How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Well, if it doesn't top off your reading, if your compassion doesn't include yourself, it's incomplete. Choose one self-care action to do today. This could be setting boundaries, by the way. It could be meditating, listening to your heart. Um, I'd say speaking to yourself with compassion, but it needs to be the whole day, not only one time in the day. Um, focusing on your strengths, recognizing yourself. Ask for help from your angels and then allow it flow. That's also possible. So Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading and I'll catch you in your next reading. Or if you move on to your other placements, I'll see you in that reading. Take care for now.